building giant multiplex at the centre of bombshell allegations. A Sydney newsreader fights for his life after being stabbed and a spectacular meteorite over Australian skies. Good evening. One of Australia's biggest construction companies, Multiplex, is at the centre of explosive claims tonight that it falsely linked two men as prime suspects in a multi-million dollar extortion bid. A former Multiplex director has described the company's behaviour as immoral. And Adam Walters has this exclusive report. He won a junior middleweight title under the name of Charky Raymond. Bang, 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 three punches. But for the last 10 years, David Ballard has been fighting multiplex, claiming he was never paid for demolishing a building in the Pitt Street Mall. Spent millions of dollars to do it, and you don't get paid one cent? I mean, and you think I'm not unhappy? And furious to become the main suspect in a $50 million extortion plot to shoot crane drivers working for multiplex. There's no way I'd do anything scurrilous like that. They're trying to make out with a perpetrators when we're the, we're the victims. A second suspect, contractor Tony Skeppis, says Multiplex is yet to pay him for installing kitchens at Sydney's Observatory Hotel. Uh, we still out, uh, owed close on three quarters of a million dollars for this job alone. Now former Multiplex director Ian Widdop has broken a decade's silence to support the two. They were treated pretty badly uh, Adam. Uh, I think you could say that they were treated unconscionably. He says Multiplex's tactics with Ballard can be summed up in one word. Immoral. Multiplex manoeuvred to put his company and other subcontractors' companies into insolvency and then used that to their benefit. He's decided that he's, he's had enough and he's, um, he's telling the truth. It's been on my mind for 10 years and uh, I have an obligation to tell the truth. Detectives attached to the Robbery and Serious Crime Unit have told National 9 News that despite their status as prime suspects early in the investigation, subsequent inquiries have confirmed that David Ballard and Tony Skeppis had nothing to do with the extortion plot. But the former boxing champ um, says he's still on the canvas. Yeah, well, it's a bit hard when you come up against an opponent you, you can't beat. Adam Walters, National 9 News. And a short time ago, Multiplex responded to the allegations in a statement saying Mr Ballard and Mr Skeppis should take the matter up with them in court and not through the media.